Hello viewers, welcome to Wrong Act YouTube channel and in this video we are going to set up the flutter on Visual Studio Code. We will set up the flutter as well as the emulator. So before starting the video let me tell you that you can also hire us on Fiverr. Just tell me that you are coming from the YouTube channel and we will give you the discount on this price also. So let's start the video. So these are the steps that you have to follow for this setup. So firstly we will download the VS Code and then we install the plugins for flutter and dart and then we will create the flutter project and open with the visual studio code and then we will create and run the emulator and at the last we will use the command to run on the emulator so this is the detailed video and if you will like this video just hit the like button and subscribe the channel so this is the link of the visual studio code that you have to download i will put this link in the description of the video you can check the description to follow this link so just you have to download this zip file 64 bit or 32 bit depend on the machine so you have to download this video studio code and install this in your system so once you have installed this just you have to open this like this is the icon of the video studio code you have to open this and it will look like this So the next step is to install the plugins for Flutter and the Dart. I already installed the Flutter and Dart plugins in this Visual Studio Code but I will tell you just how you can add the plugins in the Visual Studio Code. So just go to the extensions tab present in the left tab and search the plugin for Dart and Flutter. First we will install the Flutter plugin and we just type the Flutter here and install this plugin i already installed this and you have to click on the enable button i already installed this uh, that's why i am seeing the disable button but you have to enable this and download and enable this plugin in the visual studio code so the second plugin is the dart that you have to download this so this is the second plugin you have to also enable this and download this plugin just you have to click on this button and it will automatically install in your visual studio code you have to download these two extensions so till now we have completed the two steps first we download the visual studio code and second we will install the plugins so the third step is to create the flutter project so you can also check my previous video that will set up the flutter on the android studio i will put this link in the description of the video also so now we are going to create the flutter project in the directory of g we just have to open the command prompt just write the cmd here and it will open the command prompt here g flutter flutter is the directory where we have to create the flutter project just you have to write this command flutter create and here we have to type the project name and my project name is the project 2 it will take few seconds or a minute to create this project so now we have to open this project using the visual studio code so now, now I am open the Visual Studio Code and open the project file, open folder and present in the G drive and click on the Flutter project and project 2. So as you see we are open the file or folder using the Visual Studio Code. Here is the main file of this project. So the next step is to create and run the emulator. So to create and run the emulator you have to uh, download the android studio. I already installed this just you have to check my previous video where I already download and install this android studio for you. Uh, to short this video you can check my previous video.
and now I am telling you how to create the Android emulator to run the Flutter app. You just have to download the Android Studio. So once you have downloaded this Android Studio, you have to click on the tools and then you have to click on the Android Virtual Device Manager (ABD Manager). So once you open this, you have to create the virtual device here and select the phone that you want to create the emulator. I will select the Pixel 2 and click on the next button and here you have to select the API level. I will select the latest Q29 this and click on the next button and here you have to write the name I will leave it default and click on the finish button. This will take some time depending on the internet connection speed. So here it creates the device but I already download this so I delete this. So this is my main emulator file. So now we have completed the step of create and run the emulator. And now we will use the flutter command flutter run to run this project in the emulator. So to run this command just you have to click on the terminal and click on the new terminal and here you have to write the command flutter run it will send us the error that no device found that no spotted device connected so what you have to do you have two options first option is present here you have to click on the no device for no device and click on the start pixel 2 api 29 this is the name of your device that you have created so the second option is to run this app or emulator directly here from here you can run this emulator directly from here and also you can run from this just you have to click on the no device and start this emulator so now we start this emulator di directly from this option so now it takes some time and it opens the emulator so now i again run the command flutter run to run this project in the emulator so now it will take some time depend on the internet connection because it has to download the apk file in the emulator So for the first time it may take some time to run this app on this emulator because it have to download the apk file in this emulator. So for the uh, for the second time it may take few seconds just one or two seconds to run this change in to run this new change in the emulator. So as you see the app is running on the emulator. So now we are going to make some changes to show that change on the emulator also. So here I will change the text or you have pushed the button for many many times. I have changed this text and now I will show you how much time it will take to push this change to the new emulator. So I will save this and here I will press the small R button without shift or caps lock to make the hot reload so as you see it takes only three to four seconds to make the new change in the simulator so for the first time it will take some time but for the second time and for the rest of the time it will take only few seconds to make the change on the emulator also so like this video and subscribe this channel and if you have any question uh, write the question in the comment box, we will definitely answer your question immediately.